Ooh, it is really large. You can barely see me because I am behind this Viatech. I've never heard of them. 34 inch ultra wide gaming monitor. So I needed a new monitor for me. I'm doing video editing as you can see. And I needed an ultra wide. I saw this, it seemed to have a really great balance of features and value and that kind of stuff. So I thought, what the hell? I'll buy it, unbox it, do a review for you guys and hopefully it won't suck. Because if it sucks, I will give it a one. If it is amazing, I will give it a five on the Doug Square, that's right, I am Doug from Doug and Nikki, and I'm gonna unbox this, review it, talk to you about its features all for the first time right here tonight. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna unbox it, then we're gonna bring it upstairs, install it on my desk, and I will let you see it, what it looks like compared to, I have three other monitors attached to the same computer, so you can really compare it. And then I will give you that Doug Score from one to five. So let's talk about some of the basics while I open it up. This is a 34 inch wide ultra wide monitor with a 21 by nine ratio. It is not 4K, it is a 1440. So it should still be an amazing HD image, but if you're looking for a pure 4K, this is not it. It has a 3000 to one contrast ratio, which is just huge, along with a 100 megahertz refresh ratio. Ooh, it is really large. Let me pull this out so you can see what it looks like. Ta-da, how about that? So here it is, this is what it looks like. I will say it is that 34, it is more curved than I expected. I have a Dell ultra wide that's also curved and it doesn't have this much of a curve to it, but it is super cool looking. So interesting things, so you can see in there it has one digital port, a power supply and three HDMI plugs. So as I was mentioning, it does have a 178 degree viewing angle, which according to them is perfect for the human eye. And on the back here, just so you can see, real quick. It has a 75 millimeter VESA mount. So we'll see how that mounts up to my new arms upstairs. Uh, overall, seems to be exactly what I was looking for. The only thing that could go really sideways with this is if we plug it in and it looks like crap. So I think the only thing left to do is let's take it upstairs, mount it up, plug it in and see what it looks like. As I said, I have three other monitors up there on my computer. So I'm gonna put the same image up on all four and they vary between a really fancy Dell and a really crappy, crappy one. So this is in the middle. So you'll, well, let's take a look and see what it looks like. All right, let's go do that now. Okay, so I know this seems a little silly to be showing you uh, screensavers, but I think it really shows like the depth of the blacks and the colors. Now this is the screen in question, and I have this here so you can compare. This is my Dell art quality, very, very pricey unit compared to this one. And honestly, I feel like this is a better image here. I know the colors are cleaner there and more pure, but let's check out some video as well. Okay, so now I have the same video paused on each of these, and you can see the colors are definitely truer on the more expensive Dell, but these are absolutely great. I think in terms of value, this is awesome. Let's, let's click play so you can see what it looks like playing. And here we can go like this, compare it to this one here. Yeah, I, I'm gonna say that this is really a phenomenal value. I mean, really, I am so impressed with it. Let me just bring up this image again. So yeah, so I'm gonna give this five out of five on the Doug score. I am so thrilled with this. Not that I don't love my Dell, but this is ridiculous in terms of value. Okay, I hope that's helpful. We'll see you next time.